We're removing the engine from the boat. I know, let's go. Hi, I'm Ben. And I'm MP. And we just bought a boat that needs a little bit of work done. We are both rookies when it comes to boat ownership and carpentry. So this is going to be a steep learning curve. Luckily, we found an amazing team of shipwrights who accepted the mission of bringing our boat back to life and are now rebuilding a bow with hand tools, ancient knowledge and a lot of passion. Join us on this thrilling journey and wish us luck. <laughs> so now even though the boat's showing its beautiful hull and nothing's in the way, we are going to have to rebuild this scaffolding again. So we can work on the cabezas again, those deck, uh, the rail columns, bulwark columns and deck and everything and climb back on and off. So that's what's going to be the next step. This crib will stay here for a while until the next boat has to be lifted and it'll go back to its place. But now we're going to build those supports and structures around the boat again. something wrong when I'm rigging out the climbing gear. So all I have to untie it and loop the <gasps> rope through it <gasps> or I have to go through it but I'm too, I'll see if I can fit. <laughs> Is it funny? So here I am in this position very uncomfortable, I feel like being punched in the chest and my private. And there you get MP filming me laughing. She's just crying from laughing. Horrible woman. Horrible. So I'm always thinking, the boat's ready now. It's like moved. Okay, no, we still need to build the scaffolding around it. All right, no, now the boat's moved and it's ready. I oh, know we need to make sure everything's aligned and horizontal and making sure everything's symmetrical for when the works continue, that everything's on properly. Okay, so that's what they're doing now. And I don't know what's coming next, but now they're actually making sure everything's plumb so that, the, and the keel is nice and straight so they've pulled a line all the way from the back of the keel Oh, to a little all the way to the front of the boat to the bow of the boat sorry uh, so that keels making sure that we're making sure that's straight and we're making sure the height to the shear plank is the same on each side then they're making sure the bow sprit and the two masts are aligned and so on so now the bow has been done i don't know if you remember that hose trick to level the boat they're also doing it here at the transom now to make sure that now that the boat's all been moved that the transom is also level. So over here you've got Nico with that one part of the hose with some with the water going all the way down there, up there, and you've got Niz on the other side on the corner with the other part of the hose to make sure the water level inside the hose is the same.
We're removing the engine from the boat. I know, let's go. Can the doggy stay? Yeah. He's cold. So we are about to lift our engine because when we were moving Yaba, it dropped a little from the supports. It was temporary. Tempor yeah, it was just temporary wooden blocks. And when we moved Yaba, of course, the wooden blocks moved a bit and the engine. How did they move? A bit like <laughs> this. So the engine fell exactly in its place, but it's a bit lower than it should. It didn't fall and to a bit the more side. Back. Yeah, back ah. and lower. So now we're gonna lift it. So we could install it in the supports, but as we are working on lifting the engine anyway, the mechanic came here yesterday and he suggested why we don't remove it then. And it's been something that we've been thinking about from the beginning, but we were never really that into the idea and now we are super up for it. So we are removing the engine from the boat. So the plan for now is to get this whole engine out, we need to take the gearbox off. So that's why we're gonna just just put the engine under the hatch. And then we can remove the gearbox and lift it up because you can't take the gearbox off in the position it is in now. Are these guys carpenters or boat builders? They're legends. <laughs> <laughs> and we use we use some form of equipment, but most of it was just wood again. Wedges and wedges are the best wedges. thing. I, I'll say that forever. <laughs> And this is why we have this car. <laughs> Doesn't matter if it gets wrecked, because it's already wrecked. Woo! It looks bigger here than in the boat, right? Well, I think the car looks bigger, smaller than the boat. <laughs> so the plan now is to bring this plank up there and then on top of this roof over here so we can hang the engine on it. What a Marshall. Okay. So the way this is going to work is it's not easy to lift an engine through this hatch as it, the engine's more that way. So we're going to attach this crane to this, which is going to be on the ceiling here, which is going to be attached to another plank like this, which is on top of the ceiling. Then we're gonna add some more columns like this stainless steel one, but wooden ones, just to hold these beams up so that when the crane pulls down on these two planks that are sandwiching the roof, the roof is nice and secured because these beams are gonna be holding up these uh, beams. The columns will be holding up these beams even more. 
and that's our plan for now we're going to attach all this wooden structure first so that when the engine is lifted we will leave it on the deck for uh, like a van a trailer to come so we can lower it down from the edge of that piece of plank hanging over the roof i hope i'm still making sense onto the trailer which will go to our mechanic which is in the street is it yeah that's the plan and if you didn't understand what i just said because i don't even understand what i just said watch and see how it's done mp's gonna see if it's strong that's like the most important step checking if it's strong enough and then we'll tell you what the next steps are should i trust it yeah you're not strong enough you got a splinter <laughs> so the next plan is to put a little well a pole here pushing it down from the roof and another one here just long enough so the whole structure is nice and sound <laughs> and we've got our first replacements you want to introduce our first replacements yeah our first neighbors that just replaced the on her previous spot It's 
just have to bring it down. Let's con con let's convince ourselves it's done. Yeah. <laughs> this is so spacious I can hear my echo. Echo, echo, echo. So now the engine is up there and we assume, or we're very stupid or we just think it's fun to try it, that that engine that we, I don't know how much will fit in our new little Volkswagen 1988 VW bus. We like to give it a go because it's nearby anyway. But this crib is now here and in order to put it out of the way that bone needs to move which is not going to happen. So we're going to lower down the engine onto that board over there. Over there. And then when that's done we're going to find a way to pull that board with the engine out up to the top of this crib where the car will be and we'll roll it with like metal. You'll see we'll roll it into the car. That's the plan. I think. I just figured out. You know how they moved the stones for pyramids in the old age where they felt like a roll under a stone and when the roll escaped from the back they put it to the front. So I think the engine is going to be put on a plank with rolls under it on these planks and then it's going to be rolled up. That's what I think the plan until it enters the car. Maybe I just don't get it because I've hit my head so many times there. Aww. A big bump here. So it was inside the engine room somewhere there. It went up there. Now it has to come down here all the way there and to the car will that work yes How you take an engine out of a boat? <laughs> Never knew.
Hey supervisor, we received a comment saying that you are getting laser and laser every day. What do you have to say about it? That's true, right? It's true, right? Yeah, it's true. I'll take that high five back. We have to get up first. We made it. The engine is now inside the combi. The question is, will the combi be able to move with her 62 horsepower and the 500 kilo engine inside? We'll find out now. Amazing. All we have to do now is drive and hope the brakes hold it. Firstly, I wasn't sure if the suspension or the chassis was going to hold. That's challenge number one. Passed. Dog's trying to get in. Challenge number two is, of course, seeing if the wheels stay on and the chassis doesn't break as we're going over a speed bump and if the brakes hold and if the steering holds and if we can actually make it over a speed bump with the power we have and yeah that's all but if that holds we'll be fine i think you're being too negative i'm more in a celebration vibe because we made it i, I believe it will work out if you enjoy watching random stuff that happens because we arrived here today not knowing this will happen so now let's take out the you enjoy it because we enjoy it <laughs> and let us know what else you want to see you can challenge these guys i'll put them up for a challenge if you want to see them doing something with the tools we have and we'll see if we can make it i like that we been doing the whole time, but we'll see. Bye! But before we head off, we would like to welcome our new crew. Welcome Tom. David. Bert. Regan. Arden. Richard. Robert. RPPM Designs. Jean. Gary. David. And Wemfram Designs. Thank you so much, guys, and see you next week. And don't forget to subscribe. What happened there? <laughs> <laughs>